Yo, what is going on? This is your boy, That Guy Face with Face the Music Media. We are back again for another episode of How I Sin in this video. Yo, so this is part one of a series of me going through some of the demo compositions from the Sweet Fusion preset pack. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. So, in this video, we'll be going over some of the presets from the Sweet Fusion preset pack and how to really get the best out of the Cherry Audio synths. But before we get into that, if you like the content, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you can be notified every time we drop a video. We'll be going through more and more of these compositions through some of the presets and uh, how I uh, process them to get the most out of them. So, and make sure you go to realloops.com to get the preset pack. That's R E E L L O O P S. We got over 200 presets in this pack. Get over to realloops.com, cop the preset pack. I'll be going over some of the presets so you can pull it up and you can use the synth if you like the sound. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, man. So, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to play this joint from the beginning and then we'll break it down. Now, as you can see, I am on the master channel and I do have a master chain here. It's disabled. In part two of the series, I'm gonna break down the master chain and the drum bus chain. But for right now, we'll just go through the presets. I do have the L2 on and that's just to make it louder. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it, man. So the first sound we have is the pluck sounds. I have Mercury 4 Slim Pickings here. As you can see here, Slim Pickings. And then I have Mercury 4 Pluck on My Shoe. There you have that there. And both of these are automated, you know, it's EDM. So we'll do the build and then the slow drop off. So as you can see, I have filter cut off, high pass filter. I have the amp level, low pass filter cut off, and then the envelope modulation. I'm automating all of those. And I think it's the same one here, no? Envelope decay, envelope modulation, low pass cutoff, and then amp level. So that's what we have there. And as you can see, I stack those two sounds together. And the processing I have on the plucks, I do have a chain here. I have the Neve 1073, and then I have utility to compensate for that gain. I have Stardust. I have a little bit of delay going on there. Then we have the UAD Lexicon 224 little bit of reverb, and then I have the IK Multimedia's Opto Compressor, t rex Opto Compressor. That's just gluing it all together. Then I have this EQ here, kind of took out some of the frequencies I didn't care about. And then I have a utility here, and the gain is automated because as you automate the frequency cutoff and as the sound builds, it gets louder. So we reduce the gain as the cutoff is going up. That way it doesn't get too loud. Then we have a kickstart plugin, and that's just giving it a little bit of pump so it has a little bit of a swing to it. So let's just take a listen.
not too much going on. Just bills and drops. That's all it is. Let's take a listen without the chain and let's see what that sounds like. Sweet. So let's move on to the next sound. Next, we have the memory mode bass, atomic bass. There's memory mode there, atomic bass. I do have some automation going on there as well. Not nearly as much though. I have just the filter cut off, the contour amount, and then I have shaper box, the mix. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Nice. So the processing for that is going to be the Neve 1073 EQ again. We have the Fairchild 660, and then we have Shaperbox, which is just basically doing a side train compression type of uh, situation there. Uh, like I said, that's automated. So let's go ahead and go to the next sound. We have the leads here. The leads is stacked as well. PS20. The first one is Beam Me Up. You can see here. And then we have Lucky Lead, PS20 as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Sweet. These are stacked here, so I have them grouped just like the plucks. And so on that chain, we have the Lexicon 224 reverb. We have an EQ here, just knocking off the bottom and the top. We have 1073 EQ again, utility to compensate there. And then the T Rex Opto Compressor and Shaper Box as well. Let's take a listen to that without the chain. Sweet. That chain just really gives it a lot of bite. So I love that. Next, let's go to the effects and the effects. I didn't uh, process the group. Um, I just processed them individually because these are not exactly the same. Like the pluck, each stack is identical, but with the effects, it's not. And so let's go over that really quick.
Perfect. Let's go over the actual preset here. That's downfall from memory mode. And the second one is whirly gigs from memory mode as well. And then we have down she goes from DCO. And so on each one of those, I have the auto pan. I have a UAD 1176. I have the Neve 1073 EQ and then the Lexicon Reverb. Each one of those has slightly different settings, but they all have the same plugins. And so that's it for that. As you can see, it's super simple to really maximize the sound on these presets. So let's go ahead and listen to that from the top. We, let's go ahead and take a listen with the master chain there and stay tuned for part two and part two we will be covering the master chain and the drum bus and i know it looks like it's a lot going on with the master chain but trust me each individual plug-in is only doing a little bit so i'll walk through that as well but let's take a listen with the master chain on Nice. Love that. Love that. Anyway, man, that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think about our presets down below and how I process these presets and the plugins that I use. What's your favorite chain that you use to process your VST synths? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Let's get the conversation going. Make sure you go to realloops.com so you can cop the preset pack suite fusion and make sure you subscribe to the email on real loops because we got more and more packs coming, more presets coming for every synth on the Cherry Audio lane, as well as some other synths too. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyway, this is that guy face, face music media. If you enjoyed the content, hit the video with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so you can be notified every time we drop a new video but anyway man this is that guy face face the music media we out of here peace